I love reading. I read every day for almost about four to five hours. What I read depends on like my mood or what is going around my life. I like to follow the language of the reading, not so much the content. Because language is, for me, the essential. And therefore, uh, when I write poetry, um, I like to see what I, what I am doing with the language in my poetry. My name is Tenzin Sundu. I'm a Tibetan writer and activist. I live out of writing. I sell this book of poems called Kura. I sell it for 50 rupees. And this is my only source of income. And I live totally out of this. People may wonder, um, how does someone live uh, selling a book of poems for 50 rupees in India? It is possible because um, I have simplified and, and minimalized my life right down to two pairs of clothes, uh, two shirts like this and two pairs of jeans. Um, and um, uh, a need-based life. Uh, therefore, poetry is both what I write and what I live. It is not just a source of income, but it, my, it is my uh, inspiration. As, as an activist, I need poetry to look at things from a different perspective. Poetry for me is a language of imagination. And therefore, uh, what I see in other people's uh, poetry, uh, the metaphors, the imagery, these are essential in understanding both my life and, and uh, the world around me. So therefore, poetry more than expression is an understanding for me. And therefore, giving it a beautiful articulation. Uh, this book, uh, with which I live, for me, um, more than what poetry is, what poetry does is more important. And what I believe poetry does is poetry touches the heart and changes the minds. It is the most powerful means of bringing change in, in the world. And therefore, remember, poetry touches the heart and changes the mind. Thank you.